Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be talking about the Great One Black Bear. We're going to talk about absolutely everything we know about it. We're going to have a look at all of the different variations and there are six variations of this new Great One Black Bear. And I actually had a viewer of mine send me their footage of them getting their very first Great One Black Bear and I am going to share that with you today. So a special thanks to Hunting Machine for getting their first Great One Black Bear and for sharing their experience with us. And here is the footage here. Now it's not me, it's not my great one. I don't have one yet. I am planning on getting one. I have started my grind, but I have a feeling it is going to take me quite some time. This is not an easy grind. It is a very slow grind, but I really like the Black Bear Great One. It has grown on me since I first heard about it. I was kind of shocked that the Great One is Black Bear. Now guys, let me know in the comments, how do you feel about about the new Great One Black Bear. Are you doing a grind? Where are you doing it? And are you excited to put this Great One Black Bear in your lodge? I think it's pretty cool. And the developers actually did a dev diary on the new Great One Black Bear. So I'm gonna share with you everything they had to tell us. We are gonna look at some sketches of what the devs came up with when they were designing the Great One Black Bear. And yes, we are gonna look at all the different fur types. So today is all about the Great One Black Bear. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are Awesome, let's head straight into it. All right, so it reads here, Dev Diary introducing the Black Bear Great One. So this is by Troy Schramm, lead designer on the Hunter Call of the Wild. So they start out by saying, why the Black Bear? Anytime we implement a new Great One, there are several factors we consider when looking at a candidate animal species. Is the animal species part of the base game? Yes, this may seem counterintuitive to what a Great One is and won't always be achievable, but we want all players of the Hunter Call the wild to have an opportunity to discover one of these fabled legends without needing to purchase additional DLC. So they want the great one to be on a base game map. So either on Leighton or in Hirschfelden so that everybody can hunt it whether they own DLC or not. And that's very decent of them. It goes on to say, how many reserves does the animal species inhabit? Once again, bang for your buck is part of the deciding factor. We want the great one to be present across multiple reserves and not just the base game. This gives players a variety of locations and settings in which to hunt a great one. What does the community want? We listen, we poll, we do surveys, and we look at analytics for the most hunted animals. Questions like, what do you hunt? How can we make something that already exists better? How can we deliver something to you in the best way possible? For example, a moose great one is very vocally asked for right now, but in light of these numerous considerations, we believe the black bear great one will be more widely hunted by the community as a whole. And so here we have the fabled glacier fur type for the great one, and isn't it beautiful? What do you guys think of it? I I absolutely think it's stunning. It's tricky balance and there will be players who would prefer another animal, but we always do our best to provide content the overall community can enjoy. How can we add variety? This is a bit generic, however, we want variety in the pursuit of great ones. So in this particular instance, we thought we should take a step away from animal species with trophies and try something different. This time it came down to a decision between the interesting, between the wild boar, coyote, and the black bear. Can you imagine having a coyote great one guy? Oh my goodness, that would be a very tough grind, holy. Ultimately, the black bear won out because of the more interesting themes we could do with it. There were lots of really concept ideas for the black bear, from unfortunate but almost comical encounters to even more fantastical. So here are some of the starter images from the designers for the Black Bear Great One. This is really fascinating. So those are early concept sketches. In the end, we knew it needed to be grounded in reality. While black bears have been known to get into places they shouldn't, we ultimately decided not to portray them in ways that could be viewed as cruel. Also, the black bear is not a confrontational animal compared to say the brown bear, so claw or bite marks from fighting were also a non-starter. We wanted the Black Bear Great One to be something really awesome that players would want to pursue, so we used all the lessons learned from the previous Great Ones. The first thing we wanted to do was a model swap. We needed the Black Bear Great One to be extra chonk. He needs to be a chubby bear, and I think they definitely did accomplish that. So here are some sketches here of a regular bear, just a normal one, and a much bigger bear. So the Great Ones are definitely bigger. That is 
is for sure. Again, those are Black Bear Great One model captures. The bigger model had to work with the existing animal rig, so we had to get creative in a couple of poses so the bear wasn't folding in on itself. And even though we weren't making a trophied animal, we still wanted to create that sense of chase, so we went pretty hard on the total amount of fur variations compared to previous other Great Ones. So we actually do have six different fur types for Great One Black Bears. These are their names, and I think this is in the right order, but if I am wrong, let me know in the comments. I am just learning about these myself. So we have Spotted, we have Spirit, we have Glacier 1, Glacier 2, Cream, and Chestnut. Now, I'm, again, I'm not sure if that is in the correct order, but those are definitely the six fur types for Black Bear Great Ones. And here are some more images right here. Scoring without trophies. As mentioned previously, we wanted to do a trophy-less non-deer great one, but how does that work for scoring a great one? The answer to that is pretty simple. How do we score black bears already? That's right, weight. And with that big chonky model, we increased the weight scoring for the great one well above the existing record. So those of you paying attention to your spot and clue information will know real quick if you have a great one roaming the reserve with you or if you need to thin the crowd to potentially make room for one. The black bear great ones are something special. They are diverse enough that every player will have a favorite version. Even if the black bear isn't a player's favorite animal to hunt, they definitely will be paying attention and trying to spot one just in case. So that is is what they released that is from the devs and they did a great job on them the more and more i hunt the great one black bear the more fun it is becoming for me it is a very slow grind it is definitely super different from whitetail and red deer i kind of feel like 300 kills with black bear is the equivalent to about a thousand for red deer and whitetail as far as time and effort goes because a lot of the time we are just shooting one or two bears at a time a lot of the time it's just one and finding males can be tricky so guys there are three maps you can do your Black Bear Great One grind on. Silver Ridge Peaks is definitely the most popular and that is where I am doing my Great One grind. And in just a second, I am gonna show you where all of my, I think I have about 51 drink zones for Black Bear and I will share a map with you so that maybe it will help you find your zones. They won't be exactly the same, but they definitely will be similar. Now the other maps you can do your Black Bear Great One grind on are Mississippi Acres and you can do it in Layton Lakes. And I will be doing Black Bear guides for both of those maps. It definitely is a slower grind. It is definitely a different change of pace, but it is really fun to mix it up and to do a Predator Great One grind, and I am really enjoying it. It can be frustrating because you can run around quite a bit and find nothing but females or nothing at all. It definitely is challenging. Now, my very best spots for black bears. This lake is great. I have five drink zones around this lake. This lake is pretty fantastic. Again, I do have five drink zones around this lake for Black Bear, but the very best lake of all in Silver Ridge Peaks is this one right here down by Mule Deer Outpost. When you come here, usually you will find about 15 to 20 bears and there usually is a good selection of males. You can have anywhere from five to eight, even 10 males there. But the trick is they will not respawn in as long as there is hunting pressure there. So you really have to get rid of that hunting pressure. So those are the best spots here in Silver Ridge Peaks. Okay guys, this is the zone that is outside of Mule Deer Outpost right here. So we are in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. This is the best zone you're gonna find in Silver Ridge Peaks. It is the jackpot of bears. So we do have quite a few males, don't have any big ones, but this is where my second nine legendary spawned. Unfortunately, he was a troll. I am 350 kills into this grind, and so far I have one diamond and one troll. Now, if we had a few more zones like this, this would be a much easier grind, but we do not. So here's the first diamond black bear that I got. Got him last night on stream, and we are streaming this, guys. Pretty much every day we are streaming it live, so if you would like to come out and see me do the black bear great one grind, would love to have you. We go on around four, most days right now on YouTube and we are on Twitch Thursdays and Fridays at seven. Gotta put that great one black bear in our lodge eventually. It is going to happen. It's just a matter of when, but I do think it is going to take us quite a bit of time. What are you? So this is where all of my black bear drink zones are in Silver Ridge Peaks. So this should definitely help you to find your zones. I have over 50 zones here and I have done a black bear great one guide and I will leave the link on the screen here for you guys and below the video. And I will post this map to my discord for you guys to easily reference. And the link is also below the video. There he goes. He is not getting away. Are you kidding? 
Beautiful, we got him. So that just about sums up everything we know about the Black Bear Great One. Definitely let me know which variation is your favorite in the comments, guys, and how excited you are to put one of these Great One Black Bears in your lodge. Now, I understand that the track of the first Great One found was 224 kilograms to 316 kilograms. I have heard that each fur type has a different track. I don't know if that is true for sure. That is just what I have heard, but I will definitely let you guys know when I do have that confirmed. I did not get a vinyl, but that's all right. He did. That's all that matters. But that is gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. You guys are awesome, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. If you guys would like to learn how to put a Great One Black Bear in your lodge, here is my Great One Black Bear guide. Click away. Take care, guys.